bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to share the videos is like our family is growing to massively and it's just really a beautiful thing to me and I'm just glad that I can be able to have this platform for all us all of us to be able to tell the things that we're going through and being able to relate and connect with each other on so many different levels and in any ways is truly a blessing to me and I always want for our family as well as the community you know family as community uh, to keep growing and you know being able to uplift each other so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell at the bottom so you already know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, um, if you feel like the video is very informative to you and you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some, you know, trying times right now and need, you know, confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their sole purpose, um, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with content of my video. And today I'm listening to 963 Hertz, uh, music for the soul, tones of healing, tranquility, light music for harmony and mindfulness. I love this and it's just so peaceful. I've been picking some really good meditations lately for me. I, don't, I hope as well as they're doing some, you know, some wonders for you too. Because you know, a lot of times we need to go ahead and meditate, even if it's for 10 or 20 minutes. Um, just be able to clear our mind, our energy as well as our soul. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Um, hey Opens, your visions will come much clearer only when you can see through uh, through your own heart. It's so true, you know, because we we have we have had so many things that goes on in our daily life, especially on things we're thriving for. We're trying to clear cords, cut cords, you know, let go of things where no longer serve us. It's like when you can be able to feel, you know, where universe is trying to get you at you know allow you to help you be the best version of yourself you know not looking through ego you know i'm not going through revenge or you know seeing things of you know when you're in your emotions it's hard to really tell the things that you you know you're trying to get through when you have so many different things coming up you know going to yourself and that's when some a lot of times is like when you need to seek solitude go into that you know self so you know it's kind of like self survival mode but it's just like you have to understand the universe source creator and all of them have our back you know they want us to do the best things we possibly can do this for ourselves as well as the world you know but it's just a lot of times we get in our feelings you know we think about the people that have hurt us you know the people that attacked us and all these things you can't do that you know that takes us back down to that three realm you know where we start seeing things and comparing the you know one one's journey to another journey we only can be worried about our journey we can encourage each other and uplift them you know it's just like i tell people and like i you know you always see those you know those little posts and everything that resonates with you your journey is your journey this journey is their journey you know if we want to meet you know and go along the way hey that's the bigger the better you know but we're all on a journey you know to help save the world help better ourselves help us release ourselves from all the abuse and the darkness that's been placed on our lives because it's just like you know there's times i've done it myself you know i'm you know trying to be positive and all these things but then you know ego wants me to you know ego is so used to we play upon ego for so long and it's just like when we've gone through that awakened state we can no longer we have to detach ourselves away from ego because ego start being like oh you can't change or oh you don't have confidence but what if 
there's always a what if if the ego always talk about well what if you don't make it or what if you're not on the right path you know you will get those signs to let you know you're on the right path you will get those signs to let you know hey you're doing good but you need to focus on this or you need to let go of this you know you have to have that confidence in yourself you have to love yourself you have to respect others you know allow yourself to walk away from anybody that causes unhappiness in your life you know you're all supposed to do all those things but you know you have to learn to uplift people as well you know especially with us being hey okay good god <laughs> you know we get things thrown at us left and right people start throwing their insecurities at you and all this in your life jesus all i was is trying to help you and you get mad because i'm telling you about yourself because there's sometimes i ain't even gonna lie i get an attitude too you know i love constructive criticism but i always tell people it's how you deliver your message you have to be very mindful of the words that you put out that's why i try to tell people you know i try to be kind but i'll also let you know hey you know i i can tell the difference when you doing constructive criticism and you trying to control me i don't like to be controlled by nobody i've been controlled my whole life i said i cut those cords off of, you know people tend to get mad when they can't control my channel you know i don't i don't mind that you know you can sit up here well let me not say i don't mind that um i don't mind certain things that you you know you're trying to help me improve on my channel because i love to get positive feedback that's why i tell y'all in my little intro i love to get positive feedback you know there's a lot of things that people try to also control as well you know, and which I don't really care for. You know, like if people tell me, oh, your your intro is too long. That's okay. I mean, I love saying my intro because a lot of people have not heard it before. But if you don't like it, just fast forward a little bit. Get to the message that you truly want to hear. You already know it's like a minute, 30, 35 seconds. You know, hey, skip it towards there and get right to, straight to the message. It's all well to the good. But it's just like when we're going things, we have to go see we, we have to learn through love. We have to learn through light. And sometimes it's hard to see that when you have different things coming at you. You could be stressed out that day. And it just seems like one thing after another after another. But that means usually when it comes out like that, sometimes it's either life or it's just the energy you conjuring up. You've got to really think about, is my mind focused on something that's going to bring joy to me? Or am I constantly keep focus, focusing on that negative situation that pissed me off? And you know, if it's already been said and done, you know, you say what you said and walk away. The person said what they said and walked away. You know, if it's like if it's like family members or something like that that you know, you know, there's sometimes you gotta walk away. But there are sometimes things could be misconstrued, things could be misinterpreted. You know, if you sit down and try to talk it out like two grown adults, you know, sometimes you gotta wait until you cool off, and it's also fine too because you never want to say something you know you can't take back because it's like words cut like a knife. People feel, some people feel like. Uh, abuse only has to have either sexual or physical no those verbals can hurt like a knife too you know I had to be mindful of the things I used to say to my kids because I didn't allow myself to really you know pop my kids because that's how things was always a message was always came coming to me whether if I had a fist or I had like an extension cord or I had the most heaviest thing you can constantly throw at me you know I had those growing up so I try not to put those out of my kids but it didn't make it any better if I sit up here and say some really harsh things that I know I couldn't take back so it's like through my situation I had to really learned to be mindful of my, my words and it's just like you know it's this has really you know taught me a lot being able to voice my opinion being able to be mindful of things that i said you know for me going through this almost going on three years um my channel has really taught me a lot a little a lot of things i've grown from you know a lot of people have been with me for like a year or a little bit longer and they've seen me change they have seen me grow you know there's times when people used to come at me with death threats or you know say something very asinine or ignorant to me now it's just like half of the time i don't even get paid any mind i just go ahead and delete the person and block them from even you know coming back on my channel and there are sometimes i'll say what i gotta say and then block your ass from my channel i, I said there's it, it's just what i play you know choose to put my energy in now if it's like for you to insult my intelligence i'm not gonna allow you to do that because i'm gonna tell you what i need to tell you and you can either take it for what it's worth and get out <laughs> you know because i always say this is a freedom of speech you're not going to take me away from my fifth amendment right if you don't feel like i'm this and this and that that's all on you that's your opinion but i know what characteristics fits with me i know the things and trials and tribulations i don't went through 
You know, there's a lot of people that try to play you like that. But, you know, everything needs balance. You know, when you're pushing out positivity, you so every once in a while, I tend to get the negative things where people put laughing emojis. I'm like, I don't know what the heck you're laughing at. You know, like, I want to laugh too. Ha, ha, ha. You know, little stuff like that. And then half of the time, I'm like, man, okay, get, don't come for me if I ain't call for you. And it, it's just been that way. But there's a lot of times you really got to, you well, always, you have to look through your heart. You can truly see the things that you need to see about yourself that you need to enhance, things that you need to walk away from, things that you need to not let disturb your peace, you know, because there's a lot of times where, you know, I'm actually grateful because there's times it would be certain things that can be said to me and I will really take it to heart. And then, you know, there's, uh, I had to go throughout in life, especially with this situation, you know, when it even came to my adopted parents, you're pushing out your negativities and, and your insecurities on me about things that is not even my fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it has taught me a lot of times you cannot allow things like that to take personal because obviously those people are lashing out at you, thinking these things about you when this is how they feel about themselves. You have to not allow somebody to take you out your character. And I had to really teach myself that don't allow somebody to take me out of my character if there's something I don't like that you said to me I'm gonna say that it's not like I'm being mean but I'm gonna let you know you know I'm just gonna let you know but it, it's just like I had to really start pe speaking from my heart and not from my emotions because if I feel like if I gotta say something and I'm not in a good emotion I'm just gonna walk away you know and I had to really learn to do that sometimes a response is no response at all sometimes you cannot respond to the food well all the time you don't ever need to be responding to no food <laughs> you know what I'm saying but you know learn what you need to learn from the heart you know from your soul what does your soul speak to you you know what does your heart speak to you on a clear emotion not when you all up in your emotions because a lot of times you know when you all up in that you know you can't take those words back you can't take things that you did back but I hope you were able to resonate with this. Being able to see the things you really truly need to see. See what the universe is trying to teach you out of certain situations that come your way. If you start looking from your heart without no emotions and just know, you know you're creating this from love. You're visualizing it from love. You're feeling it from love. You know, and I know sometimes it's hard to do that, but that's when you take that chill pill. <laughs> that chill moment. Zen yourself. Calm thyself center thyself and then you see what you need to center and then go about your day because nothing is worse than somebody taking you out of your character and you're really you know messing up your day as well as your journey don't allow those certain situations to be that speed bump in your journey because you got to remember you are heading towards something big and beautiful and i have to tell myself this every day even when folks act ignorant with you the things that are throwing at you right now is petty but when you got big blessings that's coming your way of course those things are gonna come get that speed bump anything that's negative that's coming into your life is a big distraction and you should not distract yourself on that distract yourself on the things that you know you want in your life not the things you don't want and please allow yourself to let go of anything don't keep on talking about what you don't want because what you tell you keep telling yourself as well as the universe what you don't want that's what you won't get in your life because you're, you're putting your intentions on the wrong thing so I hope you were able to resonate uh let me go ahead and get my post notification shot out to um deja Wat watley i hope i pronounced your last name right baby i'm sorry if i didn't and much love to you and i will talk to you in my next video like and subscribe drop that you know drop drop your comment let me know if you resonate share give me a thumbs up and you know subscribe and hit that bell Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, knowing there is always some out there praying for your better days. And I love you from the bottom of my heart and sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a really long way. And I'll see you much later. Peace.